こんにちは。It's Nami from Just One Cookbook. I'm excited to share a new series called Tea Time with Nami. I often get questions from my readers and viewers, and most of the time they're about my recipes and Japanese cooking in general. I also get questions about our trip to Japan, how I photograph my food, and how Mr. JOC film our videos and more. So, I want to answer all your questions and connect with you in this Tea Time with Nami series. I already have a lot of topics to talk about, but feel free to comment below and let me know what you want me to share with you. To start it off, I decided to share five kitchen tools that are in Japanese kitchen. And now let's go to the kitchen and find them. First, let me show you a secret weapon in my kitchen drawer. You see me using this fine mesh skimmer often when I make soup, broth, or simmer dishes. Even though it looks simple, this picks up forms and scums on the surface of the soup, which helps create more refined and clean taste. Second kitchen tool I want to show you is called surikogi and suribachi in Japanese. They are made of wooden pestle and ceramic mortar. We grind sesame seeds, nuts, and even mashed potatoes in this. The third essential kitchen tool is a pair of long chopsticks called saibashi in Japanese. Because they are long, you can use them to stir fry or deep fry without getting your hands dirty or burnt from the stove while cooking. I use these long chopsticks to cook almost all my dishes. The next items are the various grater and grinders I use for Japanese cooking. Here are all different types I have, including a big one for grating daikon. This is my favorite one as it grates and corrects the juice. The bottom has a non-slip grip, so it stays on the countertop while grating. Finally, it's one of the most important cooking tools in Japanese cooking. Can you guess what it is? It's a drop lid, or we call otoshibuta. Traditional one is made with wood like this, so it's fixed size. But stainless steel ones are adjustable for different pot sizes. Otoshibuta has a few different purposes, including even distribution of heat, holding the food in place while cooking, and controlling the evaporation for similar dishes. I hope this video was helpful if you're new to cooking Japanese food. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Mata ne!